Hi, I'm Kenneth Weidster. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photography talks. So today I'm going to talk about a photograph. And what are the ethics of photographing homeless people? Or people who appear down on their luck or downtrodden? I have a theory that says, for one thing, we used to have a place that somebody said that it used to be called a poor farm. And I don't remember that place, but I remember the name. Somebody was going to the poor farm, and it was a place for poor people who couldn't afford a home. They would go and they, I think they would sleep under the security of a place where there was somebody watching out for them, even though they were sleeping outside. I wish we had that again. But in, in the case of Boulder, in the case of Denver, in the case of Los Angeles, which has 50,000 homeless, what's the ethics of photographing them? To me, they're a part of society. It's exploiting a child doing childlike things by photographing a child. And it's exploiting homeless people doing homeless things. And neither one is exploitation. They're just being themselves. And so my thinking is you can photograph homeless people, but how do you do it? Do you do portraits of them and do you go up to them and talk to them? That might be a one way to connect with them. I recently photographed a homeless person in Boulder right before Christmas, and I used it for the Roy Stryker project, and I only shot one frame, and I shot it out my car window with a wide-angle lens to get a sense of the person in an expanse of space, and a place that's pretty, you know, nice. It's a Whole Foods shopping center, there are nice cars around, there are people around, and there's this one person that's amongst them. And to me, it told a story. It wasn't only about the homeless person. It was about homeless person and a place. And right before Christmas, it was a little bit difficult to think about somebody who may not have anywhere to go to even sit down or sleep, just has to spend the day. And to me, the ethics of photographing any kind of plight of hardship or poor, it's all fair game in journalistic terms as long as you're honoring what is going on and you're not, you know, making fun of them, you're certainly just documenting them and you're using them to show the world what is our life, what is the human condition that we're photographing that we're a part of. So I really like the photograph. It made a lot of people respond and I think it's one of those things where we realize we're in a pretty good place the ability to have a few, few cameras. Some people don't have room for a few cameras. We have the ability and we are pretty fortunate. And sometimes when you see the less fortunate, it's important to realize that they're probably in a place where they may be seeking help or they may not know how to get help. And, you know, we have problems with that in society with dealing with poor. And certainly, I wish the poor farm were around. At least they would have a safe place to sleep instead of under a bridge and at risk of some kind of a, a, a getting accosted or attacked at night. But that's, that's my own thought. All right, that's today's photography talk. If you're enjoying these, I'll put a link to the photo in the comments below. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. If you can support, hit the Patreon, and thanks so much for watching. I look forward to bringing you more photography talks. Thanks so much.